and this little video today is all about this. This is the Dark Zone Pro Mark II. I was very lucky uh, to get one of these for Christmas. Uh, this was given to me by Mel from Monkey Drone Collective and thank you very much. Uh, she kept it a complete surprise for me so I got to open this up on Christmas morning and uh, I, was a, I was a very happy boy. Uh, I've uh, been looking at these since they came out and uh, quite fancied one. And, uh, she managed to get one sent over from the USA for us. Thanks to Jackie at Project FDL for sorting that out for her. And uh, yeah, what a great little blaster this is. I absolutely love it. Uh, comes in the pack here with the blaster, speed loaders, some of the bamboo darts, and then underneath we have some more accessories. Let me get these out. And it comes with a little holster for the speed holders, a holster for the blaster itself, and a little additional muscle brake. Uh, so you get a lot in the package, which is uh, quite good. Uh, but as I say, the style of the shows, the blaster itself, it's uh, incredibly well made, a uh, little piece of kit, feels very solid, it's got these little uh, kind of metal plates on the handle which give it a nice weight and a nice feel, uh, it's, got, it's got a decent prime on it, uh, but it's quite a short prime, it's got very, obviously very compact but uh, optimised plunger tube in there, uh, we've got a little uh, safety switch on here, so we've got fire and safe, and uh, yeah, it's a, uh, you can just uh, top load, it's got six, six dart internal mag, uh, you can just top load darts into there. I find hand loading the darts in can be a little fiddly as sometimes it can slide into the barrel. So using the little uh, speed loaders that it comes with, uh, these things are brilliant. They work absolutely seamlessly. They only fit in one way, so you can't put them in backwards. You can only put them in one way and then you just slam the darts down in there and it's loaded as fast as you can. Uh, I really love the speed loaders, they're a great addition. Uh, they work really well. And uh, yeah, it's a great little blaster. You'll see at the beginning of the video there, we did some chronograph tests. Uh, best performance we got was the bamboo darts. We did bamboo darts, uh, worker gen 2 darts, uh, Adventure Force Pro darts, and uh, we did some sweet oranges as well. Uh, best best performance was bamboo darts. I was getting between 130 and 140 FPS. Uh, I think next best was pro darts, uh, which ranged between about 110 and 120. Sweet oranges were just over a hundred, and the uh, workers were kind of averaging just under a hundred, I think. So yeah, it's clearly optimised for these uh, darts out of the box. But I'm wondering whether a nice brass barrel in there or something might uh, kind of even the playing field for other darts. Uh, obviously, predominantly used worker darts here in the UK just now at most games when we get to play that is. Uh, so yeah, kind of optimising it for worker darts would probably be my best bet. Uh, I don't know, we'll see. The dart, dart field may change over the next year or so once we get back to playing and it depends, depends how things go. Uh, but yeah, I'm definitely planning on using this blaster in my personal loadout uh, with my other gear. Uh, I really love the little holster it comes with. Uh, this has little belt loops on it. It's nice and snug in here and I'm thinking of attaching it to my H harness and having it on my chest here. And then uh, I did a little uh, speed loader mag as well, just under it. Very little like darts everywhere. And uh, yeah, I'm thinking of attaching them to my H harness, so I've got them on my chest and uh, quick access to them there. I think that might be a good way to run it in my loadout. Uh, I'm going to use this at other kind of family friendly games, I'll definitely be using the muzzle brake. Uh, just Gives it a better profile, uh, a bit more sci-fi. I think it looks kind of like looks like Robocop's gun in this form. I think quite like that. Uh, yes, yeah, so I don't know if it's worth maybe looking at getting a spring to dump the FPS down to sub 100, so I can use it at the likes of FTT and stuff if we're gonna use games like that. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. See, uh, I might just keep it for my higher FPS loadout and try and uh, get as much out of it as I can. Uh, but yeah, I've definitely got to paint up the muzzle brake uh, with the blaster as well, just so it's there as an extra addition. I might paint up the holster and things as well, just so it all, all goes with my gear. Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah, just love this. It's uh, very accurate as well. We did a wee accuracy test there. Uh, we're shooting darts at about 50, 60 feet, and uh, yeah, they were kind of. I was kind of overshooting, but they were going dead straight. Uh, but yeah, it was a. Uh, very, very effective little blaster. Uh, having the six shots uh, is a definite bonus. Uh, other 
some other blasters I've got in my loadout. I've got my old uh, my Bunko M5 that I uh, converted to shoot darts, but obviously that's a single shot that you have to reload every time. So having the six shot uh, internal magazine in this and the speed loaders is uh, very handy. Uh, yeah, I could definitely see me using this at uh, some higher FPS games just to have it as a backup on my rig. It uh, could definitely get you out of a tight spot in a game, definitely. Uh, it's got decent power and uh, the six shots and uh, decent accuracy. Uh, I just, yeah, I just love this. Uh, I don't have a Mark I blaster, but I do have the Nexus Pro, which I really enjoy. Uh, I've not quite finished my paint job on that yet. Things kind of went on hold here the last couple of months at Monkeydron HQ because we had a lot of other stuff going on. That's why there's not been any videos here recently as well. So kind of all the projects we were working on had to go on hold. Fingers crossed uh, I'll have a bit of time over the Christmas holidays just now. Maybe get down to the workshop here for a couple of hours uh, and uh, try and get some projects finished. And maybe get started on this as well. Uh, I've got, got in mind what I want to do for the paint job for this. So I'm looking forward to that. And yeah, it's just gonna be fun. Definite, uh, gonna be a definite addition to my uh, to my loadout. And uh, thanks very much, Mel, for organising this. It was a, a very happy Christmas present uh, to receive. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, uh, make sure you check us out over on Facebook, uh, over on Instagram, Monkey Drone Collective North. You can check out our Etsy shop as well. Still got a few blasters up on Etsy that you can check out. Uh, buying from our Etsy store directly helps us and uh, is uh, very much appreciated. And many thanks to people who have bought stuff from us. Uh, in the run up to Christmas, we had a few sales and uh, we were selling some stuff on eBay. We've been trying to kind of clear out some of our old new inbox stuff as well, which uh, kind of went on eBay, which is good. So many thanks to people who bought things from there. Much appreciated. And uh, yeah, you can keep up uh, keep up to date with everything that's going on on the Facebook and Instagram page. Sorry we're being a bit quiet here on YouTube. But yeah, we've just uh, making YouTube videos takes a bit longer and uh, a bit more uh, editing and stuff required. So we've just not had time to do that. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope everyone's staying safe. Uh, crazy times out there. Looks like we're all heading into lockdown again after Christmas. And uh, hopefully get this out of the way first, uh, first, first part of next year. And uh, hopefully the rest of the year is going to start looking up for everyone. Uh, so fingers crossed for that. Uh, fingers crossed we'll get out and get to play and uh, fling some foam at each other again. And uh, yeah, as I said, take care, stay safe and uh, thanks for watching.